Hi writers and readers, I'm Christy Stratus and today I usually talk about a book from the Best Fantasy Book Subgenre Reading Challenge, but this week I got in the spring edition of Forward Reviews. And first of all, I have to say thank you so much Forward Reviews. I really love your magazine, so it was really exciting to see that in the mail. It was a great surprise. I really appreciate it. I'm still going to talk about fantasy, but I went through this whole magazine and pulled out the fantasy books, and I analyzed them to see what trends I could find that are going on this year and that are coming up. So I'm just going to tell you what I saw in my analysis. In YA fiction, what I'm seeing mostly is a trend towards discussing what happens when the world falls apart around you or changes so much that it's almost unrecognizable. So whether it's that you're suddenly in a fantasy world or all your friends turn out not to be your friends or something along those lines where you need to decide who to trust and the world is just either the atmosphere is changing or it's usually a combination of people and the actual setting. That's what I'm seeing heavily in YA fantasy right now. One of the great things that I'm still seeing is complexity in the main characters, which is great. I remember when I was growing up and I would read YA, I would a lot of times turn away from it because the characters were too simplistic or they really didn't represent anything I could relate to at all. So, you know, feeling like you're in a foreign place, feeling out of place, or deciding who you can trust and, you know, who's really your friend, these are everyday problems that teens have to deal with. And there are things that adults can appreciate too. So I'm really glad to see this trend continuing and growing stronger and to have such relatable themes in YA. In adult fiction, what I'm seeing is a trend that we've had for a little while, and I think it stemmed from contemporary fiction where instead of focusing on teams of people working together, we focus on each individual person and their part in this fantasy world or their part in a larger scheme of things. And I think that that's really interesting because we're exploring the person themselves and how they fit in and the differences between people as opposed to a team working together to solve one problem, which was much more popular maybe towards the 80s or some, around that time. We've seen that for a long time with authors like Maeve Vinci and Margaret Atwood and tons and tons of other authors, but now we're really seeing it, we're seeing it very strongly in adult fantasy. And I think that that is a really cool trend and I really enjoyed it. Like in The Way of Kings, for example, by Brandon Sanderson. I just finished that book and I absolutely loved it. And it has a lot of, you know, different characters who are all intertwined in ways they don't realize. And you know, they're in the same world. Some of them are more closely intertwined than others, more obviously intertwined, but we explore their characters and their, specifically their differences in character. And then you slowly see their similarities. And I think that that trend is really continuing now. And I think it's a very exciting trend in my opinion, because I love much more in-depth character development. And I think that's what we're getting out of this. In terms of juvenile fiction, I think juvenile fiction is the most diverse because there's so much to teach to children. There are so many different things children are trying to learn, whether it's fitting in, reconciling your differences, feeling okay about those differences. I'm seeing a lot of that. In juvenile fiction, the only trend I could pick up on is taking what's special about you and recognizing that that's a good thing instead of something that makes you an outsider. For example, there's one book with a fairy who has one wing that's a different color and she feels like an outcast. How can she feel that that's a special thing instead of feeling like, oh, I'm such a loser, I'm weird, you know? Not weird, different and special. And I can see that in a bunch of other juvenile fiction that I picked up from forward reviews, similar things. I have magical abilities. Why is that special? What makes that special? And how can I use those to bring out who I am as a person and make me, you know, help me do good things or something along those lines? So we're seeing the trend of special is good, there is no weird, that type of thing. And I think that that's a really important thing because I remember when I was growing up, um, weird and other terms that are no longer socially acceptable were a big thing. And they were really hurtful, of course. So I think that seeing this trend is awesome. That's what I got out of the spring edition of Forward Reviews. And I hope that you'll pick up this magazine because it's really interesting. At least have a flip through it. It's got some of the most cutting edge fiction, some very different things, and it definitely shows you a lot of where the trends are going. And it's got a lot of diverse things. So when we put all those things together, we can see where the trends are going. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more analyses of where fiction is going, where nonfiction is going, anything like that, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, but definitely let me know if you like this kind of video. Thanks so much for joining me.